It's our third half hour of the golf show. We're here at the Tower Lounge in Kennedy Township. We're here every Thursday night on 970 ESPN. Don't forget our Saturday morning broadcast, 8 a.m. from the Nemecolon Woodlands Resort. It's ESPN Pittsburgh versus ESPN Cleveland. Two days of Ryder Cup-style matches at uh, Mystic Rock at the Nemecolon Woodlands Resort. I mentioned to you earlier about the U.S. golf camps uh, at the Kiskey School in Salzburg, uh, approximately an hour outside of town. Frank uh, Mantua is the director of golf for the U.S. golf camps. They are uh, uh, one of the most popular and most well-attended junior golf camps in the country. They attract players from all across the U.S. and even international youths as well. And uh, Frank joins us tonight. Frank, welcome. It's the 11th year at Salzburg. And uh, you guys have had a, a, a tremendous run uh, run there, and uh, the golf camps are, are very successful. And on top of that, they're very good. Oh well, thanks, Jerry. Yeah, we have we uh, we've had a great relationship with the Kiski School, and we're really really happy to be coming back for our eleventh summer. Frank, uh, talk a little bit about the scope of the schools, uh, not just necessarily what they are that, but also just how and why you're able to track so many kids from, uh, you know, like I said, not just from uh, this country, but across the pond as well. Um, I think it, I think it comes down to, um, you know, being able to handle, you know, kids at all, at all areas of the game. So we get beginners to intermediates to get some really good players. Um, and I think the main thing is having three good things. I, I think, uh, the Kiski school one is a great facility. We sort of fell in love with that facility when we, when we first saw it. It has a nine-hole golf course on campus, but uh, you know a lot of the prep schools that we were looking at when we were when we were looking for a for a place to do our camp, um, they were more of a pitch and putt course. But the Kiski School has a full nine-hole course. It's 2,700 yards long. It's got par fours that are 400 yards long. So from a teaching standpoint, it's great. Um, I think we have a nice program. Um, you know, like I said, we can handle a kid that's at, at every you know every level of the game, and then we got a nice you know, a real nice staff. Uh, our staff comes back every year. Um, we're getting about 90% of the staff back this year. So I think those are the three keys. And, uh, and like I said, uh, we're lucky that we get kids that come back year after year with us. So um, we get a lot of returners. But I think that's that's been the attraction. Uh, Frank, I, I believe it's, it's what, six or eight uh, uh, weekly camps throughout the summer. They start actually in, in uh, less than a month, June 15th, I believe, is the uh, first camp. Uh, just talk a little bit about how those camps are broken down and what a typical uh, a week uh, session is for the youngsters. Okay, yeah, the, the, we do do eight weeks. We start June fifteenth. Uh, we get kids that come for one week, and we get kids that spend the whole summer with us. So it sounds crazy, but we do get kids that that stay all eight weeks. Um, and like you were saying uh, during the introduction, we do get a, a lot of international kids. We actually had a kid um, sign up from Dubai this morning, which which sounds crazy. But uh, those kids will obviously stay more than more than a couple of weeks. They probably stay on average of four weeks. Um, in the camp, the kids come in on a Sunday. We, we hit the ground running. Uh, they take a tour of the campus, and we start teaching golf after dinner on Sunday. And then Monday morning, we hit the ground running. They're in their groups, and uh, they're doing instruction, and then, you know, they're playing the area golf courses uh, uh, that we do. The morning is more basic for instruction. We eat lunch together. And then the afternoon, they, the kids are sort of have a choice, depending on their level. Some will go play nine holes. Some will go play 18 holes. And then we're, you know, we're playing the area golf courses, uh, um, you know, near the school of Kiskey. And then, uh, you know, as, as the week goes through, we have an award ceremony each Friday. And if you're leaving that, you know, that Friday, you, you know, we give away um, autographs from different tour players that are nice enough to send us stuff, hats, balls, and stuff. And then we start all over again the next week. So, and like, and like I said before, we do do eight full weeks. And, uh, you know, kids come from different, you know, different lengths of time. So, Frank, kids, can you, you play some of the area courses in addition to the nine-holer that's there, huh? Yeah, exactly. And it, like I said, depending on their level, and we're lucky. Um, you know, we're in Salzburg, so we're close. We're close to you know some really good golf courses. I can get to Blanks of Spring Church and Tom's Run and Totters Ridge all within about a half hour. So right, for some of the right. older kids, it's yeah, it's it's a really nice uh, it's really nice to be that close. And you know, for them, they need a challenging golf course. So uh, you know, we do get some good players that are going to go on and play in college. So um, so those are a little bit more of a test than than my than what my beginners play. Yeah, absolutely. I was going to ask you uh, which courses that uh, w- that would include, and you just uh, 
you mentioned three very good ones right there, Tata Ridge, uh, Spring Church, and, and um, what would you say? Did you say Tom's Run was the other one? Yeah, Tom's Run, yeah, Chestnut Ridge, right, yeah. Right, right, absolutely. So you, you have some good places uh, uh, to choose from. Now, what, what is the age, uh, Frank, from the youngest to the oldest? We get um we, we start to get them at eight or nine years old whenever they're ready to go away and then uh, we go to sixteen or seventeen and then uh, you know I'm lucky I, we hire about twenty five staff um, you know each year we have about fifty kids between forty and fifty kids a week so we have twenty five staff but ten of the staff that are coming back are, are past campers so I, I I get to see them all the way through as they go through college too but but the main ages is from about eight or nine all the way up to about seventeen or eighteen. Now, Frank, you guys have uh, you formed a partnership with the LPGA, uh, correct? And tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, we, we've looked at a couple of different things over the years. Um, I think everybody, not only, um, you know, sort of my job in, in life is to get the, the kids to just keep playing golf. I mean, whether they're all going to get better when they come to camp, but we're trying to make sort of life, lifelong golfers. Um, and we've done stuff over the past with the Boys and Girls Clubs, and, um, and we've had an opportunity this year to uh, partner with the, the Girls Golf uh, clubs through the LPGA, and we, we have two scholarships that we gave, two two-week scholarships uh, to different girls from the girls' golf clubs, so, and they have a criteria where the girls go through and fill out an application and do an essay, and they choose these girls. And uh, the main thing is, I think uh, you, you probably know it too, is anybody who knows golf is we're, we're trying to get as many girls to keep playing as we can, So, and right. this is one of the initiatives that we did this year. Yeah, well, it's, a, it's an outstanding uh, a junior program. It's an outstanding camp. Uh, Frank, uh, eight-week sessions, and usgolfcamps.com is the website, correct? That's it, usgolfcamps.com or, or 888-USGOLF-5. So e- either way you can find us, and, um, you know, we still have openings in most of our sessions, and uh, love to get some more local kids. Absolutely. Well, Frank, thanks for coming on the show. Uh, best of luck with the, uh, with the schools. You guys do a great job, and I appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you, Jerry. Thanks for the time. Absolutely. That's uh, a Frank Mantua. He's the director of golf for the U.S. golf camps. Uh, they are at the Kiskey School in Salzburg. Like I said, it's only about uh, an hour out of town. It's a, it's a full session, a lot of golf, a lot of practice, but some other activities as well as nighttime activities, movies, dinners, things like that. So they do a wonderful job up there. It's not cheap, but it's very good. Go to usgolfcamps.com. Check it out. Uh, they get players, as I said, not only from across the country, but from across the uh, world as well. That's how popular and successful the U.S. golf camps are, and they are located right here at the Kiskey School in Salzburg.